Athens have chosen to go 4 4 2. Well, it's a setup that places greater emphasis on the supply route coming from out wide. So it's away we go then. Uh, they're guilty of lacking inventiveness here. It's all broken down. Tries to dink it in. Umbakani. Oh, that's neat. Gets the chance to massive leap. In for the follow up. That's no fluke, it's what he was there for. Well, for me, that's just pure predatory brilliance. It's not so much the finish, but the way he read the situation when nobody else was even alert to it. It's fantastic. Dinamo Kiev have an early lead. Good start. Dinamo Kiev scoring in the first ten minutes to make it 1 0. Looks like a good ball through. And that'll go straight through to the keeper. Amash, Umbakani, Umbakani! Good stop, that wasn't easy. Well, as Tesco, Peter, the keeper has just received an A plus grade. Forward it goes. Looks to slip it through. Yet another to add to football's endless list of could haves and should haves. Ah, quality deserted them when they really needed it. And it's Umbakari. Out wide to the right. And helps available out wide. And it's Gonzalez. To hit one. Looking back on that, it was some save and potentially a big moment for the keeper and his team. So what now? Tries a through ball. Tries to swing it in. Has a pop. Oh, taken with style! Well, we're all back to square one, but I hope this game opens up from here. It looks as if it could happen. Well, from right in front of goal, there was no way he was going to miss. Well, he made it obvious as to where the pass should be played, Peter, and it made the finish look that bit easier.
will be the final action of the first half. Genuinely interesting game here, very, very watchable. Two goals, one each. Dinamo Kiev head into the dressing room after a half in which we've seen two goals, one each. And the game right on edge. And we're already back on the way here. Morosiuk. Played out to the wing. Morosiuk. And McCarney hits it! And the shot! And he heaves it forward. Tries to get it forward quickly. This defence is, is weary about opposition pace. So they're just not getting too tight. Yeah, they know that if they, they step up, their, their keeper could get a whole lot busier. Umbakani. Gonzalez! Yeah, that's top defending and preventing him turning, which can open up many possibilities. Tom Bacardi floats one over, gets into some space. Defending was physical, no nonsense, and it had to be. Long and high towards the flank. And that is going out for a goal kick. With some activity down on the touchline. It seems there's going to be a change. <laughs> Dinks one in. Gets it back. He'll have a dip! He scores! And the comeback is complete! Oh, you've got to say, the odds on him missing from there were very slim. Well, to his credit, he managed to ghost into space to, to finish things off, but the failure to spot him was, was ghastly defence. AK Athens get themselves into the lead. I just think this has been a lesson in character, togetherness and composure. I think most teams would have crumbled by now, but this refusal to give up is brilliant. And that's sprayed out wide. And he's got the ball glued to his feet. Up for the header! And the lead stays intact, just. Oh, that's a great response, though, and it's a statement declaring that they're not done with this yet. Carney. Well, it remains to be seen whether they can... And time is up. Dinamo Kiev cannot understand what they've done. From a position of strength, they have contrived to lose. How would you sum up what we've witnessed, Jim? Look, they've been found wanting, in my opinion, in a, a few areas that would have made a difference to the results. So they need to go away and just have a good think about it. And I'm sure they can come back stronger. Well, thanks to Jim. We both wish you a very good evening.